Hey, Phil Ebener here with videoschoolonline.com. And in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to create this fly through text animation in After Effects, a la Stranger Things intro. And this actually comes from a question from a student in my complete After Effects course. So if you're interested or if you're a beginner in After Effects, I would recommend checking that out and I'll link to that below. So the first thing you wanna do is get your composition set up with your video behind it. So basically grab your video clip, drag it into a new composition, make sure that it's filling the entire frame. And I'm actually going to just delete this text and we're going to build it from scratch. So you should see something like this where you have your timeline with a single video track layer in After Effects. Then take your text tool and click on your composition to add new text. I'm gonna call this fly through text and I'm using a pretty bold font. You wanna use something that's rather bold because you the video is going to shine through from behind it. And so you want it to be bold enough so you can actually see the video. So I'm gonna just kind of align it like that. I wanna make sure my anchor point is in the center of this text layer. So with the pan behind tool, if I select the anchor point, which is that little icon right there, and with the command key on my Mac, I can snap the anchor point into the center of this text layer. That would be the control key if you're on a PC. Now, if I go to my align window, I can just easily center it to make sure it's perfectly centered. Next, let's make this text have the video appear through it. And it's actually a lot easier than you might think. If this layer is above the video, just go to your blend mode. If you don't see this, click the little toggle switches modes button down here and go to stencil, stencil Luma. So this creates a stencil with the text and shines whatever is beneath it, the layer beneath it, through it. So that's pretty cool, right? Now all we have to do is animate this text. So we're going to animate the scale and position properties. So press S on your keyboard with this layer selected and you'll see scale at 100%. Click this little stopwatch icon to add a keyframe at this point, at the very beginning of the composition. So make sure your timeline indicator is at the very beginning. And then you also wanna make sure you click and set a keyframe for position. So press P and then click the little stopwatch watch again. If you press U twice on your keyboard, you can bring up both those keyframes that you've set. So that's your starting point. Then go and go to around seven or eight seconds. You can adjust the timing later on. And now you want to scale up. And you notice as I scale up that a new keyframe has been added to my timeline, which is totally normal because we have one already created. And now it's telling After Effects at eight seconds, we want a keyframe or we want this layer to be this large, creating this animation between those two keyframes but we need to move our text over to the side. So make sure you're at this keyframe and then change the position. You might need to click and drag or you can just click and drag the text itself in the composition window. And you wanna make sure that it completely covers your composition, something like that. And so that way, since we created a keyframe at the very beginning it starts in the middle but at the end it does kind of slightly go down I might want to make this go up just a little bit so it's not moving down I know it's hard for you to kind of see but I want it to go at the top of that X so here we're zooming in and it's going at the top of the X perfect now if I play through this just hitting the space bar we can see this play through it's going to render out let me actually drop the quality. And so this speed of this animation is completely off. It starts way too fast. So we have to easy ease these keyframes. Select all of them by clicking and dragging over them, right click them and turn on easy ease by going to keyframe assistant, easy ease. So that might help because that basically eases the animation. It slows down and it ramps up the speed, but we want it to slow even for more at the beginning. So with those keyframes selected, go into your graph editor right here 
And now make sure that you're on the edit speed graph, which is this middle button right here. Choose graph type. Make sure you have the speed graph selected. And then click and drag over these keyframes on the left, which is at the left of this sort of arc. And now I have the keyframes for position and scale selected. And I have this little toggle bar, this yellow bar. If I select that and drag to the right, what's happening is it's saying to After Effects to slow the speed of this animation. So this is a graph with the speed in the y-axis and then the time in the x-axis. And so now it slows the animation even more because the speed ramp, as you can see, it's literally a ramp on this graph. It's going slower and then at here, around five seconds, that's where the speed peaks. So you can play around with the speed that way. And then I'm gonna click graph editor to get out of there. Or you can just take your keyframes and spread them out. You can take these second two keyframes, put them at 10 seconds, that will slow it down. Or if you wanna speed it up, drag them closer to those first two keyframes. All right, so if we just play through this now, I think it's a little too fast. I wanna make it around eight seconds. So that's a pretty quick and easy way to create this fly through text effect. If you have any questions about this effect or anything else related to After Effects, just post a comment below. I love helping students out and answering questions with tutorials that help you with your specific needs and questions. Of course, visit videoschoolonline.com for great free tutorials, and you can check out all of my premium courses there as well. And I'll also link to the full After Effects course down below that will take you from beginner to hero using After Effects. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you in another tutorial.